Good morning, YouTube. I know it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks, two or three weeks since I've done a video, but I was in the process of packing and moving. And I'm one of those people that have a lot of stuff, that have to have the right things and have the right place to put everything. But when I was trying to be so organized packing, couldn't find everything when it came time to moving. And I moved yesterday, so I want to show you where I am in the process of organizing my stuff. I tried to start off by having um, bulkier stuff moved and then little by little I'll go back and bring over the other stuff. But I hope you'll join me and, and watch what I've done so far. Here we are at the front door. I always love these little glass doorknobs so that was a big selling point for me. And this old fashioned looking phone dealy on the wall. This building that I moved into used to be like a woman's boarding house around 1918, 1920. So I found it to be really awesome. I've got my fountain, um, which happens to match the green walls. I'm not used to being in a place with green walls. Brought my chaise lounger. And I've got some curtains up to the window, even though these aren't the curtains that I plan to have ongoing at least there, up to the windows, because I really can't find the ones that I had in store, which is why these are all wrinkly. Um, TV, my chair, a bookshelf, with my record player on the bottom, because I haven't brought the rest of that stuff over yet. And this is not only a plant stand, it's also a bookshelf, but as you see all the empty slats here, uh, I will be bringing the slats over so that I can fill the rest of it up with a bunch of books. And I have a laundry closet. My own laundry room in here with a compact washer-dryer combo. Some shelving unit in here, which is actually kind of awesome because I've got a lot of stuff, extra stuff that needs to be stored. Um, and more shelving area over that way. And I don't know if you've noticed, I've got these beautiful hardwood floors. I love the hardwood floors. And around the top, I love it when the molding is there around the top of the room. The ceiling fan is nice too, but the molding is a big selling point for me. So let's move into the dining room. And yes, the floors are squeaky because it's an older building. Like I said, it's about 100 years old. This is the dining room area. I got a chair and a table. I, I love the radiator heating because it just makes me feel just wonderful, especially on the cold winter morning in Minnesota. And the light, it's pretty cool light too. This door is a back door to that same room my same laundry room so I'll turn off the light in there but I want to show you an interesting thing in my unit there was this door and when I first saw it I thought what in the world here's a door but around the corner there's nothing and I put the bookshelf there so is this the doorway to Narnia no I opened it up there's a drop-down ironing board in here. It was a space-saving feature because, as I said, this used to be, a, all these buildings around the park where I live used to be part of a women's boarding home area. Um, and so compact spaces with everything that anyone could ever really need. But as you see, I have much more counter space than I did in the old place, which I don't know if you've seen in the old videos, I had about 12 inches of counter space, literally, in the kitchen. Um, I've got a gas range now. I've got a dishwasher now. Um, lots of cupboards. Microwave, which even though I haven't been one to use microwaves, I might find myself using it every now and then. And in the bathroom, still working on getting stuff together. Um, 
I've got my towels and things up, my sheets up, and I'm changing the shower head so that I can have something that gives me a bit more pressure. So that I'll be working on today. And of course I have the radiator heating. And in the bedroom, I've got a large closet. It's not quite organized yet, but it is very spacious with lots of storage area. My table at my daughter made me, which I love her designs, and she's on dreamfancy.com if anyone wants to check out her work. Um, my extra TV, my bed, another radiator, and the curtains, which happen to match. Again, I have green walls. Green is not my favorite color. It's just the color that was in here when I bought this condo. Yes, this is a condo. Um, but because I packed everything and called myself being so organized, I can't find the curtains. Like, I can't find the curtains for the living room. I can't find my bedroom curtains. So that's actually a cloth shower curtain that's up to the window. But it works just fine. Nobody can see in. So I'll keep that until I go through all my boxes. And as you see, I have my dining room curtains. But they're kind of sheer. And these windows did not have blinds in them so I might have to add blinds or I might have to add something else behind that so that it's not so opaque oh and let me show you this Let's see which light switch do I work when I hit this light switch there's some nice kind of mood lighting that comes up and up above right there so I thought that was pretty cool granted I still have a long way to go with everything that I'm doing getting this place together but I just signed the papers yesterday and started moving and I had one person to help me so I they said what do you want me to do first I said let's move all the horrible heavy stuff first because then you know I can Take my time. I've got a month to take my time getting everything else in here, all the books stored and put away, and my other rugs on the floor so I don't annoy my neighbor beneath me. Um, so I've got some things that I will have to do. One thing I wasn't really happy about, um, I mean, there's a cracked light light switch panel in the bathroom that's not a big deal I can go to the hardware store buy that piece and replace it and I'll in fact do that and share that with you on a video but one thing I wasn't really happy about was I was supposed to have a storage space in the basement got all my keys and everything went down to the basement lots of storage spaces people put locks on them and put their condo unit numbers on them so that all of the spaces are taken up. Not real happy about that because that was a part of what I had paid for and will be paying for for a while for the mortgage. But, you know, today's Thanksgiving and I'm keeping it positive. I'm thankful for my new home. And it actually looks pretty decent, considering I don't have everything in here yet, which is kind of scary because I got a lot of stuff to still bring. Lots of boxes. And I have to finish emptying out the freezer at the other place and bring all my appliances, which will now have a home. I'll have space for them. But I like for things to be fair. Just like I like for people to be honest. And I decided that I'm just going to wait until we have our first association meeting for the condo. The first one that I'll be attending. And I'll ask about the space in the basement. Because somebody has to remove their lock. If you're paying for one unit, you're paying for one space. And I should still have a space, too. 
But for now, I'm going to try to keep it positive, and I will use the shelving unit that's in my laundry room. I'm going to clean it up, and then I will store as much of my extra stuff in there as possible. I was just kind of surprised that people actually, there's like two or three condos in this building where people are using multiple lockers storage lockers so but I'm not going to address them that way I went to we're all together as a group in the association meeting and I will address it there and see who's ready to take a lock off one of those lockers or say oh yeah I am only paying for one unit I should probably only have one rather than two um and hopefully that will go over well. Well, this is my space. Still got a long way to go and a lot of work to do. But like I said, I'm one of those people that have a lot of stuff. And there has to be a place for all my stuff. And everything has to be put away just right. Because I do enjoy having clear open space to walk in. And I like everything to be done in a nice process where... It makes sense to me. So, I hope you enjoyed getting a look at my place. Yeah, I got my guitar in the corner and my clarinet in the closet. I will continue moving stuff and bringing you updates. So, until next time, have a wonderful day.